everyone, this is Mr. Rubber Running here again, and today I'm here for my breakdown on 100% full cowling Deku. Whoa, okay, I finally have to do this character. I don't think anyone needs it though, you've all fought online, right? You've seen everyone playing this character. Like, I don't see the reason in me doing this, but, you know, I have to do everyone at some point, so I thought I'd get him out of the way. Yeah, that was just a casual 12,000 damage combo for one dash cancel. That's fine. Anyways. Let's get into his buttons, I don't need to tell you about him. I, I actually, I will talk about him. I do really like the idea, his moveset seems really cool, and that's why he was the first character that I played with in this game, like when I got the game. I love this, the, the concept of throw um, slow projectiles, they're so fun, And but he, if they just nerf him, I'll, I will play him more. I would enjoy him more if he wasn't so dirty and OP. I love that he has like all the classic buttons, of like All Might, and I, I love his moveset, he has really cool moves, that... and he seems interesting but he's just too crazy OP and it, it hurts to play with him, because I feel like I'm cheating my, against my opponent. Anyways, let's get into his buttons. His regular attack string is this 4 hitting attack string that ends in a punch at the end, but you're never going to do with the 4 hit because obviously you're going to be going in for combos. So you can dash cancel after any point, or you can dash, or you can cancel into buttons. And as you can see, his air attack string it looks pretty similar. It ends in a similar way, except it does 5 hits, and it's really good at getting wall splats at like whatever point. Even though if you're not at the right point, the opponent will keep flying until they reach an area where they can be wall splat. So it's a really good move uh, that way, getting wall splats. But once again, you're going to be cancelling before the last hit most of the time in order to get his crazy combos. Even though I recommend you don't do that, most Dekus do cancel into combos. <laughs> okay, his red attack is crazy. It is a slow red attack that just, like, pummels the opponent. A lot of the time it just, like, runs them over and they go flat on the ground and he goes past. But, a lot of the time you're not going to get anything off of it, which I'm glad. This is, like, one part of shoot style deck that is, um, of 100% deck that isn't crazy. But what is crazy is that it has crazy tracking and reaches from, like, over here. Like, it goes across the world. Like, I can be over here and he's in danger of this red attack flying across the screen. It's ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't be in threat of a really good tracking if I put Bakugo into running around. You can see how this move tracks him when he's dashing around. He's dashing, he's not even just walking, and it reaches him. This absolutely has to be nerfed. That is ridiculous. A red move shouldn't even hit if you sidestep, let alone are dashing around, and I do my red attack at any point. And it's just gonna hit them? Like, that is crazy! That is not fair at all. I'm sorry if I sound salty here, but come on, that is OP! Like, I can start it up at any point, and it's gonna trek after him and hit him. That. I don't like that. <laughs> His yellow attacks are the same in the air as on the ground. He does this, um, like, tornado twist attack. And it's mainly just, I mean, it's also a very good yellow attack. It's yellow the whole animation, which means, like, no matter where, when your opponent tries to hit you, you can armor through things, like projectiles, whatever. And you can also cancel it into some of his other buttons, like this, which I'm sure you've seen a lot. And you can get combos this way. Using it as a damage combo extender. So yeah, and you can use it on the ground as well. And that's its main use. It's a really good red attack, but it's also a really good combo extender there. Guys, quick little side note on the air yellow attack. I just fought online and realized it's even more... more ugh, it's actually super overpowered. Because... Ready? Ready, ready? Are you ready for this? You can just combo off of it for free. That's fun. Oh my god, I messed up. But you can get 10,000 damage combos for free. That's fun, right? Wow. I love this character so much. Well balanced. Wait, I'll try one more time. You can get like a 10 or 11,000 damage combo for free. Oh, 
<laughs> just cancel with this early. Wow, that was 10,000 damage for zero dash cancels. That's fair. I love that. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Okay. So, now for his quirk one. This is where people already hate two style Deku. I mean, 100% Deku. So, if I tap his quirk one button, he does this interesting projectile where he does like a kick. It's kind of like um, Zoro from One Piece where he does like a slash attack that go travels. So, he does this kick, you know, it's a decent projectile. It does how much damage? 2,500, which is already like a high tier projectile if it does that much damage. It travels fast and it starts up pretty quickly. And it travels decent distance. It's just a good projectile. But, if you hold the button down, it becomes this. 6,300 damage, just if they get hit by it. You can also combo off of it, I might uh, I might add. Oops, that wasn't even like proper comboing off of it. For easy 13,000% damage, which is totally fair if you ask me. And on guard, it takes up most of your guard gauge and it's plus unlocked, so Deku can run up. And your guard has practically just been broken just because you decided to block once. So let me get that off the screen. So if I do this out, he's still blocking it and I'm attacking at the same time. And oh, your guard's broken. I guess I can go in for like my 13,000% damage combos now. I messed it up, but I still got 10,000 damage. And I just find it ridiculous that if you decide to block, this thing is like attacking you while I'm attacking you, and like your guard's instantly broken. That is so... it's crazy. And if you get hit by it, it's so much damage. And yeah, it's a slow move. I, I really like the idea of slow moving projectiles, because you can go up behind them, combo off of them. Even if you don't use a dash cancel, I can do in the other one. This combo, I'm going to get tons of damage. It didn't cost me a single dash cancel except for in the combo. <laughs> I messed up, but I still got 12,000 damage. And yeah, I uh, I like the idea. And what's even what's crazy about it? So if I'm oh oops, get that off the screen. So say he go pretends to he goes to block because he I put out this huge projectile. Deku has this really great air grab that tracks very far, and so if you ever put one of these large projectiles on the screen, you can grab, and that's a, practically an unblockable mix-up, unless they do, like, obviously a guard break or something, but it's like calling out a support and doing something, except you're not. You're just using his regular buttons. And if you block, for two, if you block it, it's probably going to break your guard, or if it miraculously doesn't break your guard, I'm gonna just do my red attack, and then you're gonna get in a combo anyway. It's it's really good. And you, if you get hit by it, that's not an escape either, because you're taking like 6,000 damage. So, okay, we've only gotten to one of his quirk buttons. So he has a tilt quirk version as well, where it's a, practically the same projectile. You can do a regular version where he just throws it normally. It's a nice projectile. It acts very similar to the other one, except now it's horizontal. And it, for the regular version, a lot of the time you want to do this one. It's a bit slower, but it covers a better horizontal area, which is where your opponent is going to be most of the time, moving around horizontally. So yeah, very good projectiles. And just like the other one, you can charge it, and it, it's ridiculous. It, it, the properties are exactly the same, except that this one also has ridiculous tracking that like is impossible to avoid almost all the time, especially if you're on a small map, there's literally like no avoiding this thing, because it will attract your opponent to hell, and it also, because it's the horizontal version, it has really large hitbox, because it's this massive projectile, that also tracks your opponent like crazy, especially if they go near a corner or anything, look, it's still there, he almost ran into it just then, and if they're near a corner, or if we're on, this is one of the largest maps in the game. But if you're on an indoor map, this, this literally takes up the entire map, and there's no escaping it. It's ridiculous. And obviously, while you're running away from it, you can just throw out more and hit 8,000 damage just because I hit you with two projectiles. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy projectile. It can also be used... These projectiles are used in his most damaging combos, I believe. Oops. 
11,600 damage, almost 12,000 damage for one dash cancel. Just because I hit you with a button, he's getting 12,000 damage, which is way above average damage in this game. Like, oh, oh no. Okay, let's move on. Okay, his quirk 2 is this All Might S Punk String. It does 3,000 and some damage, but you can mash it to do more damage. And obviously it's going to be your main combo ender. You can combo it off of his armor attack to get good damage that way. And obviously, if you're high enough in the air, it can also be a good force flat to it. There we go. Even though I do prefer using his just regular attack string for wall because it's a lot more consistent. See if I try to do it here with this other button. A lot of the time they're just going to bounce off the wall. But with his regular attack string, I don't know what it is about it, but you're almost guaranteed to get a wall splat. They are just always sent flying into it. And yeah, some good, good damage that way. Okay, his tilt quirk 2 is this really good grab attack. On the ground, it's kind of like, you know, it seems like an average... It almost seems like it would be, it'd be... It's just a different version of his red attack practically on the ground. You know, it's a decent grab. It's kind of like um regular plain Deku's grab. You know, it's short-ranged, but his does a lot of damage. But this one... You can combo off of. So, if you ever like bring out a support or something that has a lot of hits, like Rafa or Bakugo, you can grab them. And as a mix up, and you get a combo for it. Now, this version isn't that great, you don't see people doing it that much. What it is great though is the air version. Because he dashes forward and does it. So it, you can do it from like over here, and he's gonna be able to grab them for a full combo. And yeah, I messed up there. But the, the point is that you have this grab that has really long range, is quite fast compared to other grabs. And it leads to a full combo that is easy and super high damaging still. Like, it's pretty ridiculous, like if you ask me. And because it's an air grab, that also means you can do good mix-ups on blocks if my opponent is guarding here. Say, you know, I'm, I'm doing some like staggers and stuff. All of a sudden, I've cancelled into a really quick red attack. And this works like my online wins like a um, hit streak with this, like percentage of the time that it hits is 100% of the time. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually not get hit by this. And obviously I don't use it that many times in a match, because then it gets predictable. And like, sometimes I don't even do it after the third hit, like I'll do two hits into it, because almost all the time, 100% Dekus do the three hits into this armor tag, and then they just go into the same combo, but do it on block. So that's why I like to do, you know, sometimes cancel into this. And then, you're guaranteed to get your full combo. And it's crazy, because your opponent is just so scared of, you know, well, they're just so used to all the shoot style deck is doing all that other garbage that you usually see. <laughs> and yeah, so that works like 100% of the time. Don't mash, don't like spam it the whole game, because then your opponent will get used to it. Just use it every now and then to get a good sudden chunk of damage. Either for free or use a dash cancel to make it a high damage combo. Okay. Now that we've done all of his buttons, we can actually get into his combos. Um, actually, I'll, I'll show his plus ultra one as well. So it is this double kick, but you're practically never going to use it. It does good damage, which is like really, really good damage compared to other plus ultra ones. Because usually plus ultra ones do like 7,000 damage or something. This one does above average damage, but it's not the fastest, and he can do a lot of damage just with his combo, so a lot of the time I'm not going to use this. I also don't really know what is a good combo into it. Like, this probably works. But like, he can get good damage on his own, so I don't see the point. 
Let's let me show that in a combo. Oh my goodness. Oh, that might not work. Oh no, it does. Oh, but it didn't get the full damage. But yeah, essentially, you're not going to be doing it that much. I, I don't see the point because he already gets crazy damage. Just with his dash cancel combos, but I guess if you want to get like a high damaging unbreakable combo, obviously you can use it like that for a big chunk of damage. Like if you catch your opponent and they nearly have that support stack, you can cancel into it early and get a chunk of damage that they're not going to be able to break out from. Okay, so now let's get into his combos. So I'm sure you've seen this bread and butter combo a lot of time online. This is what shoot style Dekus like to do. Actually, a lot of the time they don't even put that red grab in, so this is what a lot of shoot style Dekus online do. And then I'll show what you actually should be doing. So this is the regular combo. They do something like this. And they might even dash cancel again if they want, but I'll leave it like that, because that's already one dash cancel. I usually only like to do one. 10,300 damage. By no means is that bad. That is definitely above average damage. That's really good. But you can actually add in some red attacks and make it more optimal. So if I do this and dash cancel, oops, and don't mess up. Dash cancel into the red attack and then do this. It's going to be even more damage, and I believe I can do even more damage if I let some more hits in this hit. Oh no, that might miss. Oh no, here we go. 10,800 damage for a single dash cancel. Pretty OP and definitely top tier if you ask me. So yeah, that's a bread and butter combo you're going to be doing almost all the time with Deku. And he can do practically the same thing in the air as well. Like if you get a combo starting in the air, you do practically the same thing. Oops, I messed that up. <laughs> but even that was a lot of damage. There we go, 10,700 damage, which is still extremely amazing damage for our single dash cancel. Okay guys, a little side note with his combos, I have realized after recording this that, as I mentioned earlier, after his yellow attack you can get free extensions after his attack string. So if I end a thing in this, I can dash after it hits and get a free extension after my yellow attack multiple times. So an air combo with 100% Deku can look like this with zero dash cancels. Ten thousand damage, completely meterless, just because he hit you in the air. Yes. There we go. Eleven thousand two hundred damage for a single dash cancel. That's pretty fair if you ask me. And the same thing also applies off of this type of combo. Oops. Twelve thousand two hundred damage for a single death. I haven't actually seen people do these combos online, but they're pretty scary. So, and they involve using his projectiles as combo extenders. So you saw even that there, three hits into a projectile, that was 7,500 damage, which is like a lot of damage. Like That's like a full combo of Toga right there. That is all her damage, and he hasn't even dash cancelled. So I can dash cancel it, as I said. Oops, I messed it up. Messed it up, still got 9,000 damage. So if I go three hits, into the projectile. Oops, messed it up. Let me try that again. Oh, 
12,300 damage for a single dash cancel combo, guys. Is that not crazy to you? That's ridiculous. A single dash cancel, like, and he can do that all the time. It's not like characters like Muscular or um, even like 100% Deku that has to use a plus ultra or something when they have to be in a charge state. 100% Deku can get that all the time, consistently. 12,300 damage. So that was three hits into the projectile, into armor move, into the charged regular projectile. And the damage can vary. See there, I only got like about 12,000 damage. But the point is that you're getting huge damage for combos that aren't that hard. 12,000 damage. See, that was a bit less. But still, 12. Uh, Who's going to complain about 12,000 damage? It's ridiculous. And obviously, um, sometimes it, the um, last part can be a bit inconsistent, because sometimes the projectile comes back at you, or if you're not facing a wall, so like if, say, if you close to this wall, and I start up like here, you can get the first part really consistently, but sometimes if you're not in a corner for this last part, you're not going to get that charged projectile at the end. So a lot of the time, you can just end in the normal combo route, and just do something like this. And then you're getting 11,400 damage. Which is crazy! And it's even, like, possibly easier than the other combos that I see a lot of Deku's doing online. Okay, I was seeing if I could make it any longer, but I can't, which is good. So, yeah, he gets huge damage, very easy damage. And, yeah, so this is a bread and butter that you actually should be doing, that I never see Deku using online. Maybe because it's a bit harder, it still does huge damage even if you mess it up there. See, look, I messed it up, I didn't even get the high damaging, I didn't even finish with this massive thing at the end, but it still did 10,000 damage, which is above average damage, even if I mess it up. So, pretty ridiculous, and this is why I'm saying you practically never need to use his plus ultra 1. Because, well, what's the point? If I can get this much damage by using a single dash cancel, 12,300 damage for a single dash cancel, it's more that I could get with my plus ultra 1 in, like, most situations. Why would I ever do that? Even though it can be broken, I can just go for it again and use up all their supports and do these things. There's just no point in using it, in my opinion. Because, and, like, he practically has the moves from his plus ultra 1, you can just do for free, it's these projectiles, and I can combo off of these super easily. <laughs> and get huge damage, oh, it's crazy. Um, it's plus ultra too, sometimes because if you're only doing one dash cancel per combo, if you're doing a lot of combos, if you like have a lot of meter you realize, you can just, you have, you'll, oh, you're most likely gonna have your plus ultra too, quite often. Which means, if you get a touch and you realize your opponent nearly has their supports back or something, you can just, um, cancel any attack into this, and then you're going to, <clears throat> get a big chunk of damage that they can't interrupt. So, if they're like, oh no, I gotta make sure I have my supports, for when he does his huge combos, just do your plus ultra 2 and you're gonna get like 20,000 damage and they can't interrupt it. <laughs> it's crazy and this much damage, like the, this much life that the opponent has left is nothing to shoot style Deku, like I mean 100% Deku, I keep saying shoot style. Like I can eliminate that in a second with, with this character, like that little bit of health that he had, I can just do a projectile, dash cancel, if they don't get hit by the projectile, well then they'll get hit by my combo probably. And you can just take it, that piece of health that they had, super easily. And you can also... Oops. I'm pretty sure he can get his plus ultra 1 or his plus ultra 2 from his red attack. Okay, not, not his plus ultra 1, maybe his plus ultra 2. So this just makes his red attack even scarier, because he can get it from his completely overpowered red attack. That the only bad thing about the red attack is that you can't get anything off of it, but if you have your plus ultra 2, you can get something off of it. So it just makes it super, super crazy overpowered. So like, if you have your plus ultra 2, and 
you're in the neutral, you can actually... What, what's crazy? Let me, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Or I think this is right, I might be wrong, it's gonna be embarrassing. But if I do it from over here... I was pressing the plus ultra 2 button, but it doesn't come out, because you can't cancel a button on whiff. So I've, done, I've been doing my red attack and press the plus ultra 2 button, but I'm not going to waste my plus ultra 2. So practically every time you have your plus ultra 2, you can press your red attack and be mashing the plus ultra 2 button, and if it hits, you're going to go into the plus ultra 2 and get this like 18,000 damage for free. So if they're trying to dash or sidestep or anything, if they get hit by this move, if they get hit by the red attack, which is overpowered and hits running opponents and it hits everything, they're getting hit by 18,000 damage. And if you miss somehow, like maybe they're in the air or they run too far away, then you just, you whiff it and nothing, you haven't wasted your plus ultra 2. It's crazy, you, you have, that's what in um fighting games like Mortal Kombat 11, that's what we call an option select, so you get the best of both worlds. So I either whiff and I haven't used my plus ultra 2, or if I manage to hit you, like even when you're dashing around, which should make red attacks miss, but not this one, if I hit you, I'm going into plus ultra 1. Now I won't make you watch that again, because we've already seen it a few times. I mean, I'm going to... Yeah, so it's, it, he's so strong, guys. It's, it's crazy, and I think I've covered his combos. That's practically all you need to see. So there's... He has a few different types of combo routes. See that one? In, in the, so you either have the ones you can do with the projectiles, or the ones you can start off using with this, his armor attack, into his quirk 2 string. Both the valid and do decent damage, just the projectile one does a bit more. If you get a combo from the air, you can do something like this. Oops, I messed it up. Sometimes it only works if you're near a corner. So if you ne realize you're near any kind of wall, you can get a high damage in Oh, why didn't that work? Yeah, either way, you, even if you do a combo like this one, you're gonna get 10,000 damage. Even if it resets in the air, it's okay, because they're gonna have to just guard or something, and that's very unlikely. Anyways, guys, I think I have to stop talking about full Cowling Deku before I start crying. But essentially, he's a crazy overpowered character. He has awesome projectiles, great zoning. He can zone you out to, like, to, to hell. Like, these projectiles, you're gonna get 6,500 damage. Even more if you use the vertical one, because it does more damage. And it can catch people jumping. He, they, these moves have crazy good tracking. These projectiles, so he can zone you out. And if he catches you, he has crazy good guard pressure. So your guard's practically gonna be broken every time. If you don't fall... You know how I was talking about these mix-ups before that he has on block? which are really good with these red attacks, so like, you practically lose against him if you block. But also, if you th they think I'm gonna go for that red attack, I go for this, and they, they, they practically just die. Like, if you block against him, there's the mix-ups, whether it's the projectile, or the red attack, and oh, it's, it's so evil, I hate it so much. I messed up, but I'm still getting huge damage. And he has like the weird mix-ups with his red attack with the option select where he can always get his plus ultra 2 consistently off of it he, Or he just doesn't use it He's just so strong guys. He has limitless strengths and I that's all I have to say Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye